Well, here we are. It's the sixth day of May 2016. Biddy Who has left for its Mexican migration. First delivery crew on at the moment. Phil? Hey, how you going? All ready for it? Yes, mate. Bloody beautiful. Happy to go and live a warmer climb. <laughs> We're heading north, it's getting warmer. <laughs> Michael, all ready, mate? Yeah, pumped. Pumped, ready to go. Kenneth? Do you remember where you are? Yeah, I know where we're going. We're on Port Phillip Bay on Biddy Hoo, just so you remember. I'm going to get that tattooed. <laughs> Reginald? Looking forward to it. Alright mate, everything good? Way to go. Thanks. <laughs> and Johnny? All ready for it. Let's go. Best straight. Can't wait. Hey. Bring it on. <laughs> Here we go. We're on our way. Hello there folks. Big Mike here. I've got my Biddy Who top on, you can just see it there. I'm down at the Royal Victoria Yacht Club, about to walk down the pier, off on a marvellous adventure with my good mate Mr Paul Linderman on Biddy Who 2. We'll be uh, spending the next couple of weeks sailing up the east coast of Australia, all the way up to Queensland from Melbourne. And my good mate Paul's invited me along for the ride. I've, uh, I've even bought some sandwiches for the trip as well. And, uh, well, let's get down the pier and, uh, and, and catch up with the boys. I'm uh, running a little bit late, but I think that'll be all right. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you in a minute. We'll get down the pier and I'll tell you a little bit more about our journey. Again, Big Mike here. As I walk down the pier, down to Biddy Who's Pen. It'll be a couple of weeks before uh, we reach Queensland on Biddy Hoo 2. Marvellous vessel, 50 foot long, Beneteau design, quite seaworthy. And, uh... Hello. Where's the bloody boat? There's no boat. Where's the boat? Bloody Biddy Who's pins right here. Behind a bit of shelter there. It's ringing. Hello, Paul. Mike here. How are you doing? Great. Hey, listen, I'm down at the boat and it doesn't seem to be here. Whereabouts are you? Refuge Cove? What the bloody hell are you doing there? You left yesterday. What do you mean you bloody left yesterday? No, I didn't get your messages. You told me Saturday. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, I'm here, I'm all ready, I'm raring to go. Four weeks up the coast, that's right, together. Oh, bloody hell, well, where are you gonna be? Lake's entrance. Oh, crap. All right, I'll see if I can get down there. Oh, but I've got the sandwiches, you know. Oh, crikeys. No, I didn't get your messages. All right, I'll bloody catch up with you then. Oh. Well, it seems they, uh, they left yesterday. I'll go and see if I can catch up with them. Biddy Who too, we've uh, put the 16 in there now. Now it's 12, 13, 14 and 16. Well, g'day Big Mike, uh, Paul here, the skipper of the Biddy Who 2 good ship Beneteau 49. Uh, sorry about the little miscommunication um, the other day, but uh, unfortunately we had to go, there was a window that we had to leave in. But I do apologise, Big Mike, but uh, we're in Lake's Entrance now, so we're going to be waiting. We're looking at leaving on maybe Wednesday if you want to make your way up here. 
Uh, we'll weigh it up for you if you like, if you can make your way. But do apologise, Big Mike. Um, hopefully put those sandwiches in uh, in the freezer. Freeze them up for us, mate. By the time you get up there, we'll be all right to go. But, uh, yeah, Big Mike, sorry about that. But, uh, unfortunately, um, you know, the, the weather dictates where we go. But... Johnny, Johnny, come on, we've got to get up. We've got to get going. Why? What's something? Bloody fat Mike's on his way. You're kidding. No, come on. Get up, get up. Phil, Phil, we've got to get up. Come on, get up. Why, 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 what are we going to do? What's going on? What's going on? Fat Mike's on the way up here, mate. We've got to get going. Oh, what's the tides doing? I think he's a shit with the tides doing. Let's just get going, all right? Oh, shit. Reg, Mike. Mike yeah. and Reg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to get going, mate. Come on, come on. Doesn't that go over get to teach you what's going on? Oh, no, mate, he's an absolute lunatic. Come on, let's just get going, mate. He's, got, right. he's on his way. He he's going to be in here about four hours or so. Yeah. All right, come on, let's go. Yeah, all right. Hello there. Big Mike here again. I'm down here at beautiful Lakes Entrance and uh, just about to catch up with the crew of Biddy Who too. I'm down here a day early, which is fantastic. Apparently they're not leaving until Wednesday. So uh, I'm down here a little bit early on the Tuesday and we'll catch up with Paul and the boys on Biddy Who too. Uh, very shortly, I'm just about to make my way down to, to the uh, the water's edge where apparently Biddy Who is, uh, is moored. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll catch up with you again shortly. Uh, there we go. Well, let's just see if someone knows what's going on around here. Uh, here's a Oh, excuse me, have you seen a big 50 foot boat? It's called Biddy Who uh, over here. Oh, no, that boat left a couple of days oh, ago. Yeah. What? Left? Yes, gone. Oh, you're joking. Well, thank you. That's all right. Uh, okay then. Uh, well, according to her, they left a couple of days ago. I'm just going to get Paul on the phone right now. Hello there, Paul. Big Mike here. How are you? Uh, yes, I'm down here at Lake's Entrance again, uh, trying to catch up with you. I've got the sandwiches, and uh, can't seem to... Uh, well, apparently one of the women said that you've, you've left a couple of days ago. Is that... Where are you now? In Eden... Oh, bloody hell, Paul, not again. No, I didn't get any... Are you sure you got my right phone number? I didn't get any of your message. Oh, I'm at Bloody Lake's entrance. It's, it's raining here. You had to keep ahead of the weather. Oh, for crying out loud. How long are you going to be at Eden for? A couple of days. Well, I suppose if I leave now, I might be able to make it. Oh, but you won't leave without me again, will you? Well, I'm bloody chasing you all the way up the coast. I'm supposed to be sailing, not driving. All right, I'll well, I'll I'll head up that way now then, okay? Don't don't leave without me again, okay? All right, bye for now. Well, uh, that's most unfortunate. <sighs> I suppose I'll go and have a sandwich. Thanks. Well, good morning. Uh, it's the 11th of uh, May 2016. As Biddy Hughes making his final descent into Sydney Harbour. See the city there, Bondi, North Head, Reg Head. <laughs> How would you handle the, the 180 knots oh, that come through? Oh, we did that well, didn't we? We had the spinnaker yeah, up, we had everything up to it, didn't we, eh? Oh, we were flying. This story's going to get bigger and bigger as we go, I tell you. We had the boat flying, we had it up on the keel, up on the wing keel. 28 meter seas. <laughs> well, good afternoon, Mexican uh, lovers. Here we are, we're on our way from Sydney to Newcastle. Well, good morning, trendsetters. Here we are again on the Mexican migration heading out of Newcastle. Exhibit A, Newcastle. And we've got Ken down here. What have you, what have you just done, Ken? Oh, it's all right. What have you done, Ken? Nothing. nothing. Ken, what did you do? 
I spilt the coffee for the taco, thank you. Jody, he spilt the coffee. We got coffee from fr from no, we Stern haven't. Stern the Bell. Well, good morning, Big Mike. It's Paul Linderman here, the skipper of Biddy Who Two here. Uh, we've decided to leave Eden. We've been waiting for you at Eden for uh, a few days, but the plans have changed. We've actually turned back around, and uh, as you see, we're heading towards Phillip Island. So, if you want to meet us in Western Port Bay, uh, we're going to Western Port Bay now, um, Phillip Island. That's uh, in the background you can see there. Um, yeah, I left my toothbrush at home, so we thought we'd just duck back and pick that up. Uh, if we miss you in Western Port, uh, I'll give you a call when we're back at Royals, and uh, hopefully then we can uh, catch up and uh, have a sandwich together, so to speak. But Big Mike, uh, been waiting and eating for a few days now, mate. Uh, don't know where you ended up. Um, it was only probably about a three hour drive at max and uh, a bit disappointed, I haven't heard the phone ring, haven't had anything from you, but uh, obviously uh, Big Mike, we've been waiting for you, but at the moment, there's Phillip Island there, we're just heading towards Phillip Island in Western Port Bay, Victoria, uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you shortly. Thanks Big Mike. Got to say. Uh, is... G'day Phil, how are you? Mate, I am just having the romance and but the atmosphere on board Binny Who 2 is just fantastic. Where are we, Phil? We're at Forster Tun Curry. Yes. And we're just having a little hop, skip and a jump up the coast. Oh, lovely. So what have you got on your dinner plate tonight, are there? I can't speak with my mouth. Well, let me, I'll, I'll let me interject. Uh, we've got a, a, a rump roast, which has been cooked in our fine Weber over there. Mm -hmm. We've got a sweet potato that. roasted on that fine Weber over there. Well, good morning, followers. Paul Linderman here, your skipper of Biddy Who 2. Today, it's with a heavy heart that I've got some news for our followers. Unfortunately, overnight last night, we lost one of our faithful members of the Biddy Who 2 crew. Always willing to do things for us, help us out in the time of need. When we're cold and wet, he was always there for us. Young Whistler, we loved him. It's been about nine years with Whistler at the moment, but unfortunately this morning his life was cut short as we put the stove on to make our morning coffee and he sprung a leak. The cancer had become too much for him and unfortunately he could no longer keep the water in the hole. He leaked over our stove and he fought to the end. He tried to whistle one more time. But unfortunately, Whistler's days are now ended. And as we're going to have a minute's silence after this uh, broadcast, I want you all to think about this poor kettle. He's been through Portland. This is Portland. He suffered extensive bruising and damaging on that day. He was thrown repeatedly off the stove into hard surfaces in seven metre seas with 50 knot breezes. But he held on and he kept going for a few more years. But now poor Whistler, it's all over. So thank you for being part of the team. Rest in peace, Whistler. Hello there, Big Mike here. I'm down here at Marvel's Melbourne Airport because uh, as you would have been following my adventures, uh, Big Mike Sailing Adventures has done anything but sail at the moment because unfortunately Biddy who skipped town a day early before I could get to catch up with them and they didn't tell me. Uh, the same thing happened at Lakes Entrance which I was most upset about. Um, I had to get the hire car back at, uh, for Eden, so I missed them at Eden, unfortunately. And they've been skipping up the coast quite briskly, as you would have seen. But um, I've got my little birdies out and I've been following them on the AIS tracker. So I know exactly where those little buggers are now. They're not getting away from me this time. <laughs> I word indeedy doody not. So um, I've got these bag of sandwiches and I'll be, uh, I'll be jumping on a plane and catching up with them very shortly. So right now I'm going to nick off and check in and I'll catch up with you again shortly. Thanks. Hey. Hello, Big Mike here. Well here I am, I've, I've got my ticket and uh, I've gotten through check-in. I'm just about to go down through security, apparently there's not much filming allowed down there, so uh, I'll catch up with you on the other side. Bye for now. So 
Uh, uh, I'm not sure why, but I'm being led down to security. Um, it seems a little odd, but uh, I'll put my sandwiches down there. Um, uh, you mind stripping off, sir? I'll be back in a minute. What seems to be the problem here? Uh, this is most uncalled for. What the hell is that? What? What is but, that? Well, everybody knows that you wear stockings under your wet weather gear to stop the chafing. This Come on, I'm running very late here. Passenger Big Mike. Call There's the announcement for me. I'm running late for Please my plane. Come on, hurry up. Point. I've got to go. Just hold in there, sir. Oh, will this take much longer, sir? Just one more check. Oh, God. This is the final warning call for passenger Big Mike booked on flight 3728. Hold the plane! Hold the plane! I've got the sandwiches! Oh, God, what an ordeal. I finally made it on the plane. Look out, Biddy Who, here I come. Ah, uh, Mr. Captain speaking. Uh, well, thank you for choosing to fly with us today. Uh, if there's anything that our cabin and crew can do to make your flight more comfortable, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. We'll be climbing to uh, cruising altitude shortly, and it should be a nice three and a half hour flight all the way to Perth. Perth? Did I say Perth? Bloody Perth? No! I'm supposed to be flying to Queensland! Oh, Biddy who? The fish are non existent. We've trailed this bloody lure now for uh, near on a thousand mile with zero success. But let's hope in this last 40 mile from here to the Gold Coast, we might be able to cook us, grab ourselves some breakfast. Uh, here we have success. We've got our first catch of the day. Well, folks, I don't know what we've caught here, but we've got a bloody fish all right. There's our first catch for the day. And as we said in our uh, last telecom conference, uh, what we're gonna do, but there it is. We got our first fish, it's landed. I was gonna pick him up now. Oh, he's at least 140 kilos there. There he is, look at that. Bring out the wasabi, bring out the soy sauce. We have tuna. Yeah, look at that baby. Success has been ours. Now it's got a bleeding. Uh, that pity who, standing by, ready to make fish tacos. Well, uh, good evening, uh, Mexicans. This is your skipper speaking here. We're on our way. No, we're not on our way. We're actually uh, in port. We're in Newport. Hold on. Newport. That's where we're in. In local news, a man was restrained and sedated by cabin crew after boarding a plane in his underwear, then causing a commotion on a flight from Melbourne to Perth on the weekend. The misfortunate traveller was seen here running through the airport in his underwear, claimed he was running late for his flight to Queensland due to a cavity surge at a security checkpoint. Then he mistakenly boarded the wrong plane. Flight staff said he became increasingly disruptive and incoherent, repeatedly screaming something about the sandwiches and Biddy Who. Upon landing, the man known as Big Mike was arrested and is being detained by Perth police and is expected to be charged and sentenced for creating a disturbance on a flight.